How are we doing, folks? Your host, Moose, here on the Pitt Panthers Football Network as we welcome you to Huntington, West Virginia, where your Pitt Panthers will go on the road to take on the Marshall Thundering Herd. It should be a fantastic matchup. You can see it's the juxtaposition of two offenses that are fairly opposite, or, or two defenses, I should say. They're fairly opposite of each other. Pitt uh, really has struggled against the run to start the season. Their season opener versus Marshall through their first two games has given up nearly 300 yards passing, and that plays into both teams' strengths. Marshall with two very good halfbacks and a good running quarterback. Pitt with a fantastic passer and some good receivers. So we'll see how things go here as Pitt about to kick the ball off and get things underway here in Huntington, it's going to be a great matchup. Marshall's Benny Washington back to receive. He's going to take a knee, and the Thundering Herd will start with the football at their own 25. Garrett Morelli hands off to Jaqua Daniels, and he's going to fight through one tackler, pick up a short gain of three. Daniels is more of the uh, power back, similar to a David Coleman like we saw that UConn used yesterday. And you can see he's very good at running forward there. Avery Heller and Sean Wolfgang having to combine to bring him down just short of the stick. So third in, uh, inches now for Morrell. He tries to scramble, but he's brought down. That's Barry Jenkins, the senior out of Washington, D.C. Gets the sack and Pitt will take over, led by senior quarterback Kenny Pickett. Of course, Pickett. Uh, an average season debut, uh, people expecting big things out of the senior this year. His third year as a starter, and he tries to start off looking for the corner route that was his sophomore favorite target, Jay Keys, but he overthrows it due to the good coverage of Marshall. And so on second down, they'll go with the run. It's going to be Todd Sibley. He'll be getting the majority of the carries today for the Panthers, owing to the fact that C.J. London is out of the contest with a back injury. Hopefully we'll be back next week weak but Pickett here completely shot down on a triple option it's going to set up third and 12 now for the Panthers so they go five wide set keys actually in the slot Pickett looks for him but just overthrows his receiver there was a herd uh, no pun intended of Marshall defenders in the middle of the field there so Pickett lucky it wasn't taken away by any of them and the Panthers will punt the ball away on their opening possession so yet to score on their first possession here in either of their opening two games of the season. Second down for Marshall. It's going to be the tight end Barnett who hauls that in. Eventually, he's brought down uh, for a short gain. Pick of about five. Going to be third and about uh, five yards to go here as Morrell tries to scramble out wide. Gets around Wolfgang, but senior linebacker Chase Pine is there to cut him down. Marshall will punt the football away, and things remain all square midway through the first quarter here. And the Panthers can't seem to get much going offensively. They bring in Keith to run the Wildcat. He tries a jet sweep to normal halfback Todd Sibley. He loses three, and so Pickett's back in. It's play action for Kenny. Looks out wide. Great throw, and Jay Keys goes up and makes an incredible catch. Look at the height that the sophomore receiver gets up to. We talked about he's like a Larry Fitzgerald light, and I think he may be. What an incredible catch. He high points the ball and makes an incredible grab. Very similar to what Larry could do, although Larry was you know, really prolific on fade and things like that, but Keys goes up and makes a fantastic catch. So the Panthers do move the chains a couple of times, pick it on the read option. Now it's play action for Kenny. He's got a man out wide. That's junior Paul Lease hauling in the grab there for 17 and pit into Marshall territory. Keys subs back in at quarterback, and they hand the ball off to five-star freshman Tyquan Sutton. Uh, they're trying to get him involved on both sides of the football this year. He gets three yards on that carry, and so it'll be third and seven out for the Panthers. Pick it back to pass. He's looking for the end zone. Tries to find Keys. It's nearly intercepted. Justin Morrow jumps in front of the route, pulls it in, but he couldn't get a foot in bounds, and so the Panthers now facing fourth and seven. It's in a distance where they can't kick a field goal, so they're going to go for it. Pickett, though, is completely wrapped up and hauled down, and Pitt will turn the ball over on downs. Kenny Pickett had nowhere to go. The protection broke down. Great coverage downfield by Marshall, and they're going to get great field position to start off on this possession. It's Morrell back to pass. He's got his man. That's the tight end, Barnett. Yet again, he's over the first down marker and into Pitt territory, Leon Barnett 
And so Marshall now the best field position of the game so far. It's Jaqua Daniels out wide. Runs through a tackle from Avery Heller before Chase Pine drags him down from behind. And it's going to be second and two for the Thundering Herd. They go offset eye now. Morrell hands it right up the middle. Jaqua Daniels. Uh, Jacob Lachlan, the redshirt junior safety, comes up and makes the tackle. But not until after he moves the chains. Morell in the shotgun now. Avery Heller comes on a blitz, and he slams Morell to the ground. Great tackle by the true sophomore, starting his second career game for the Panthers at strong safety. Gets his first career sack, and Marshall nearly counters it with a huge play. It was a great throw, but Barnett just couldn't haul it in. It led him just a bit, and so it's third and very long for Marshall. Morell back. He's going to be hit, and he's going to be sacked. Darren Toth, the defensive tackle, brings him down. And with that loss, it's going to be a very long field goal attempt for Marshall. And they are not even close on that one. It had good distance, actually, but it just misses to the right. And so that's going to take us to the end of the opening quarter of football here. Scoreless in Huntington. Pitt zero, Marshall zero. So the Panthers trying to counter and get on the board for the first time today. Pickett's back to pass. It's play action. He's nearly intercepted. Maurice White, the outside linebacker, jumps the route there. And it's going to be third and seven. Pitt lucky to escape unscathed. Pickett back to pass. And Marshall brings the blitz. Kenny gets out. And again, it's deflected away. Chris Jackson, he threw it in the direction of two Pitt receivers, but just misfired a bit on the throw with Marshall bringing the pressure. Morrell's going to hand off after a great punt from Eric Fox. Pins them inside their own 10. But Jaqua Daniels completely reverses the field position there. Great 17-yard run showing off his burst of speed and power to move the chains for Marshall. Morrell back to pass. Tries to dump it off, looking for one of his receivers there, but completely short armed it. And so it'll be third and 12 now for the Thundering Herd. The pit defense doing well to stop Marshall, but they can't go anywhere. And that's a huge sack. That's Mac McAlevey, the true freshman. Pittsburgh area product out of Chartiers Valley High School. His first career sack. And after the punt, Pitt will have great field position here. And it's Pickett finding freshman receiver K.J. Welsh for a nice gain of four, second and six. Now for the Panthers. Pitt really utilizing a lot of freshman talent so far this year. You can see McAlevey getting his first career sack. K.J. Welsh featured well in the opener of the season. And so it's interesting to see how many of those guys have featured in the lineup so far for Pitt. Pickett going deep on first. Done looking for keys and it's deflected away. Good defense by uh, Sir Patrick Scott there to knock it away from J. Key. So it'll be second and ten for the Panthers. Pick it, play action. He's back to pass and the football's out. Marshall's got it. It's gonna be Johnson recovering it and he stumbles over his own man, allowing Cameron Porter to come back and make the tackle. But Marshall plays takeaway and they've got their home crowd in a raucous state right now. The building is rocking. The thundering hurt have really come to play tonight. This pit offense is struggling, and Pickett there just couldn't handle the pressure, and Marshall is really going to put the pressure on the Panthers as Jaqua Daniels, first play on the drive from scrimmage, he takes it to the house, makes a house call, 44 yards, and Marshall has drawn first blood. They've struck first against the Panthers. It's a great play, and Pickett has had his struggles so far today, just 5 for 12 passing for only 48 yards. And he's got the one fumble as well, which, I mean, it was a big hit. It was a jailbreak blitz for Marshall, so you can't really blame Kenny too much. But you take a look at that. He had Paul Lease on the slant, and he just throws it a bit behind him there. It's still a nine-yard gain and a completion for the Panthers, but he's got to lead his receivers. We need to see more from Kenny for the Panthers to really impress this year and live up to that number six rating that they're currently wearing. But a good carry for Sibley gives them first down yardage. They have four wide out to the boundary right as Pickett rolls in that direction, looking, has a man that's Ogden cutting across the field from his starting point on the left of the formation good grab on the slant picks up a nice gain of 16 and moves the chains for Pitt second and five as Kenny's back to pass has time looks he's got his man that's KJ Welsh who hauls that in good pickup of 10 moves the chains for the Panthers yet again as we near the midway point of the opening half of football or the second quarter of football I should say and it's going to be Welsh again nice bubble screen good blocking out on the edge there from Caleb Cannon, and Walsh is able to get first down yardage. So second and eight for the Panthers. It's a tight bunch formation. Pickett looks. He's got Jay Keys. He finds his way to the, about the two-yard line. Nice little grab on the drag route over the middle. Nearly found his way into the end zone. Sibley dots the uh, ace formation there, the single back look, and is not able to get into the end zone. 
on first and goal there. Good stop by Marshall. Now they bring in a heavy set with Jay Keys as the deep guy in the shotgun, and he scampers forward for the touchdown. A new wrinkle from the Panthers here with that formation. Jay Keys lines up, has Todd Sibley, and look at fullback Samuel Smoot, the senior, makes a fantastic block, and Jay Keys is able to find pay dirt, and the Panthers have leveled the scoreline 7-7. Seven to seven. And elsewhere in the ACC, a Miami versus Miami battle and the Hurricanes number 12 in the country currently trailing Miami of Ohio 14 to 10 early in that matchup but a good tackle on Jaqua Daniels as he spun out a one tackler Jacob Lachlan cleaned up and it's going to be second and nine Morrell back to pass he's going to try and scramble and he's into the arms of Sean Wolfgang his 36th career sack and third of the campaign as he chases NCAA immortality in the record book. It's going to be Joseph now coming in, taking a pass there. Donnie Joseph, the backup quarterback, as Morrell had to take a playoff. He is expected to return, but Joseph filled in through an incompletion, allowing the Panthers now to take over with the football. And it's Todd Sibley fighting forward. Look at that drive and the leg muscles from the redshirt junior propelling his way forward for first down yardage. So pick it back to pass now. Plenty of time over the middle. He's got his man. That's Jay Keyes. Good block sealed out there on the right-hand side as Pitt gets a nice six-yard chunk, and it's going to be third and four now. Kenny rolls out to the right, looking for room. He's going to scramble away, pushed out of bounds, but he does get just enough for the first pick. Needed four, got five, and the Panthers have a new set of downs. Pick it. Back to pass here on a five-wide set. Looks, dumps it out wide for Paul Lease, but defended very well by the Thundering Herd, and so it'll be third and ten now. Ogden goes in motion as Pickett's back to pass. Looks, surveys the scene. It's deflected away, and it's intercepted. Keenan comes away with the football. Pickett, I'm not sure where he was looking. I think he might have been going for Paul Lease, and he just misfired the football. I don't know if he lost a grip or what, but Marshall gets the second bite at the cherry, too, because they dropped the first play and then were able to uh, catch it on the deflection. Pitt nearly does the same thing. That was Tyquan Sutton who had an opportunity to steal away the football as it was deflected, but he couldn't haul it in, so Marshall retains. But on second and 10, Morrell, nowhere to go. He's got happy feet back there. He tries to scramble away. Darren Toth, the big body up the middle, shuts him down and gets the sack his second of the day. And on third and 15, they try and run a delay handoff. Jacqua Daniels goes nowhere for a gain of five, and Pitt's going to call a timeout. They have two left and 40 seconds to go to try and get down the field and take the lead before halftime. And they get a great play. Good spot there. Jay Keys, I don't know if he had first down yardage, but they give it to him, and that helps the Panthers stop the clock and get back to the line. So first and 10, Pickett rolling out to his right. Plenty of time. Throws back across his body and has Paul Lee for a gain of 11. Again, moves the chains, allows the Panthers to get set up, and they decide to take a timeout. So five wide set for Pickett now. Marshall rushes only three. Pickett throws to the corner, and what a catch! K.J. Welsh, an incredible grab by the freshman, and that's got to be Kenny's best throw all day. He put it in a perfect location where only K.J. could come down with it, and he gets both feet inbounds. That's an incredible catch. Probably the catch of the season so far for the Panthers in terms of what it means to them moving the football. Pickett nearly intercepted there. Benny Washington, he's their backup halfback, second string halfback. He's actually been playing defensively in this game and makes a great play to deny the throw from Pickett. Second and 10 now. Kenny rolls out here. 10 seconds to play, and he's forced to throw it away. So the Panthers, they want to get into the end zone here before we go into halftime. Third and 10. Pickett's got Sibley to his left. He's back to pass. Rolls out of danger into his right. Throws the football up for grabs, and Jake Ease has got it. What a catch. Somehow he brings it down. Pickett just threw that one up there. I think there were four Marshall defenders in the area. And somehow, Jay Keys, like a salmon swimming upstream, leaps the highest and makes an incredible grab. Unbelievable. Kenny Pickett unlocks the Marshall defense by finding his man, Jay Keys, and it takes the Panthers into halftime with a shocking 14 to 7 advantage and what's been impressive the most for Pitt is they really have shut down Marshall offensively of course the rushing yard statistic a bit skewed by all the sacks but Pitt's only given up 69 nice yards uh, of defense on on defense they've gained over 200 yards on offense 
and they're only winning by seven points. They have to be able to, to maintain possession of the football. Two turnovers need to be limited, and Pitt hopefully can come away with a victory here away at Marshall on the Pitt Panthers Football Network. So we get things underway to start the second half. Your Pitt Panthers leading 14-7 over the Marshall Thundering Herd, scoring a late touchdown to take a seven-point lead into halftime. And they do start the second half with the football, looking to extend their advantage and get a little bit of separation between themselves and the upstart Thundering Herd. And they get a great start there with Todd Sibley churning forward and pirouetting and twirling over some defenders for a nice gain of 11 to move the chains. He gets another great carry there on the counter good blocking downfield for Pitt and he picks up a nice gain of eight so Sibley's look good in the time that he's had the football but the Panthers have pretty much been passing all day to try and get down the field but Marshall's done a very good job they have brought pressure on a consistent basis and then they've dropped into because they've had five or six defenders who've been fantastic in coverage and so they've been able to then rush the remaining six defenders towards the Panthers and cause some havoc on Kenny Pickett but it's a good carry from Todd Sibley gets about nine and he stops short though on third and inches wasn't able to get the yard to gain they even brought the fullback in but Pitt says you know what we're going for it Narduzzi trots the offense back out there and they get the first down it's the handoff to the senior fullback Sam Smoot picks up three yards and moves the chain for the Panthers first and ten now for Pitt five wide set KJ Welsh comes in motion pick it pitches it and he's lost the football Holiday's gonna have it and he's gonna be going the other way and again he stumbles over a defender or he was on his way to the house Kenny Pickett with an incredible mental mistake there and Pat Narduzzi is incensed on the sideline asking Pickett exactly what he saw there he had the uh, wide receiver option with KJ Welsh and I think it was one of those things he saw the defender uh, make a late cut towards him and he thought then he could pitch it to Welsh It ended up colliding with the defender the ball squirted free and Marshall's able to take over but the Panthers defense remains resolute stops Marshall and they're gonna have to settle for a fairly long field goal attempt that kick is up it looks good and all of a sudden it's doinked off the uprights what a turn of events there for the Panthers that kick looked like it had eyes it was going for the uh, between the uprights and all of a sudden it made a beeline for that right goal post and shanks off of it and so the Panthers still maintain their seven point advantage. Good pass from Pickett there to move the chains. Now they try and run a jet sweep this time. Paul Lease dances around a couple Marshall defenders. Gets about 15 and then he's hauled down by his face mask. That's going to be 15 more tacked on to the end of that run. So it's a huge gain for the Panthers. Takes them deep into Marshall territory at about the 30 yard line. Tight set for Pickett in the shotgun here. Finds his man. That's tight end slash receiver Caleb Cannon or Gronk as the boys have been calling him in practice. That's what the Panthers nickname for him is and he gets a nice five yard gain there for Pitt. Pickett rolls on third and five. He's got first down yardage. Takes a couple of hits from the Marshall defense. Takes a pounding there and that's the 20th first down on the day for the Panthers. They've only given up three first downs to Marshall there's number 21. It looks like it's coming back, though, for a clipping flag, though. But Pitt, 20 first downs on the day to Marshall's three, and yet they only lead by a single touchdown here late in the third quarter. Five wide set for Pickett. He's going to roll to his right out into space. Plenty of room to range forward. Has a man. That's Jay Keys. Great soft hands from the sophomore pickup of 12 before he's spun down out of bounds. And it's going to be first and goal for the Panthers. Sibley, though, tries and take the handoff off tackle to the left. Nowhere to go. Marshall swallows him up in the back backfield for a loss of one so second and goal bunch formation to Pickett's left he's back to pass rolls to his right as he so often does tries to find Paul Lease but he can't thread the needle he probably could have dumped it off to Sibley there uh, but incomplete and so third and goal for the Panthers dual halfback set now Pickett though doesn't give it to either of them decides to keep it himself and Kenny Pickett is into the end zone the Panthers double their advantage 21 to 7 lead that they now hold over Marshall and the way that their defense is playing surely that's going to hold up only giving up 78 yards on the the day so far with six sacks defensively a fantastic performance from a Panthers defense that was largely untested and nearly had an interception Jay Menifee the senior getting his first real significant playing time for the Panthers here as a redshirt senior and he or excuse me as a true senior and he 
is unable to make the interception, but it's going to force third and 11 now for the Thundering Herd. Morrell back to pass, has plenty of time, but it's a great job. Darren Toth got that big paw up in the air, knocks the football down, and Pitt forces another punt from the Thundering Herd, and they even improve on their defensive output as Marshall loses a yard on that drive. So Pickett now, he's got Sibley as his sidecar. He fakes a handoff to him. He's going to roll out to his right. Kenny scrambles, looking deep for Jake Keys. It's nearly intercepted. Sir Patrick Scott deflects it away and so we go to the end of the third quarter Pitt with the football leading by 14 over Marshall on the Pitt Panthers football network So the Panthers face a third and ten to open up the fourth quarter. Pickett rolling to his right, trying to find an open receiver. Decides to heave it deep, but he's hit as he throws. He's lucky it came out with as much strength as it did. And so Pitt will be forced to punt the football away, giving Marshall an opportunity to potentially kind of, you know, wiggle their way back into this ball game. Third and five now for the Thundering Herd. Morrell hands it off on a delay to Jaqua Daniels. He fights through one tackle, eventually dragged down a gang tackle from Pine and Jenkins, setting up fourth and one in the Thundering Herd. Have to go for it here. It's going to be a handoff. It's going to be Jaqua Daniels, and Avery Heller came up and leveled him in the hole, but he was able to get just enough to get the first down. Now after a false start, it's first and 15. Morrell, he's going to decide to scramble, and he's got plenty of room to range forward. A great block Walking downfield by the Marshall receivers, and Morrell has his most productive run of the day. And Marshall now down to the pit 31. It's Jaqua Daniels chased from behind. Taekwon Sutton can't haul him down, but a gang of Panthers eventually do drag him to the turf after a pickup of eight. Morrell's going to keep it himself this time. He looks to have found first down yardage, but he stops short. Jacob Lachlan comes forward and lays the boom on him. And it's going to be third in inches now. Morrell keeps it himself yet again. Chase down Avery Heller in pursuit there, but Morrell falls forward and moves the chains for Marshall. At the pit, 19 now. Jaqua Daniels out wide. Great blocking on the edge. Avery Heller comes up and makes a great tackle there to push Daniels down. Otherwise, he was on his way to pay dirt. Second and goal now for the Thundering Herd. Morrell back to pass. Blitz is picked up, but he runs into it. The ball's knocked loose. Barry Jenkins was able to jar it free, but Marshall retains the football and will face a very long third and goal here. Morrell back to pass. Looks, has a man. That is a great catch by Willie Johnson, the senior receiver but he stopped at the two and Marshall will have to go for it on fourth down again it's a handoff it's Daniels he's stuffed in the backfield Barry Jenkins with another huge tackle he's been impressive today great job from Jenkins and the Panthers take over on downs at their own two yard line and to get out of the shadow of their end zone there's Todd Sibley off to the races his best carry of the day goes for 18 yards and Pitt moves the chains. Third and seven now. Quad set to Pickett's right. He's in the shotgun. He goes the other direction, though. They left. You can't give Jay Keys that much room off the line of scrimmage. If there's one way you can actually stop Jay Keys, a lot of times it's with press coverage, but they don't beat him that time. And it's a flea flicker from the Panthers. Sibley took the handoff, pitches it back to Pickett, and he's got a man downfield. That's Benjamin Ogden for a 29-yard reception. The Panthers break out a little bit of trickeration. Again, some more wrinkles in the playbook that we did not see last year. It's Mark Whipple's second year in charge of the Pitt offense, and so he's mixed up the playbook just a bit to create some variety. Great job from the Panthers moving the chains. It's Caleb Cannon across the middle again. Gronk goes for seven there and it's going to be second and three now. Sibley checks in next to Pickett as the sidecar and he takes the handoff on the counter. He's got room forward. Great little move from Sibley and he's down to about the one yard line. Tackled after an 11 yard gain. Great shiftiness from the redshirt junior out of Akron, Ohio there. They pitch it to Sibley again on the toss. His shiftiness isn't going to do anything that time. He's dragged down the back foot for a loss of three. Great game from Sibley though. He's over 100 yards on the day. Pickett back to pass. Looking for keys and again that's where they can get him. They tried that bump and run coverage. They gave him the press and he wasn't able to get off the line. Pickett I think wanted to try and throw a fade to him but just couldn't do it. The Panthers do tack on a field goal though and make it a three possession game. As we look around the country NC State with a victory over Notre Dame but the big news Miami 
falls to Miami of Ohio in the Battle of the Miamis. I'm sure there's got to be a better name for that. But Miami of Ohio pulls the upset, and they have bragging rights as far as the Miamis in the country are concerned, at least until the next time these two teams will meet up. Marshall, though, looking to keep things respectable and possibly pull an incredible come-from-behind effort. And they do have first down yardage with Jaqua Daniels on the screen. Pickup of 12 there to near midfield. Morrell's back to pass after being under center. Plenty of time. Looks out wide. That's Willie Johnson who hauls it in for a nice 13-yard grab as he takes a hit from Jacob Lachlan. Third and five for the Thundering Herd now as we near a minute to play. Morrell back to pass. He's going to try and scramble. Nowhere to go. Ronnie Baker puts the clamps on him. And the junior defensive end gets the sack. Fourth and 11 now for the Thundering Herd. They send the tight end in motion here. Morrell's back to pass. Pitt only rushes three. He's got plenty of time. Looks, but Darren Toth is going to bring him down. That's going to be his fourth sack on the day. The quartet for the, for the senior. Panthers only rush three, but the coverage downfield was fantastic. And Pitt able to run the clock out on a methodical 24-7 victory over the Marshall Thundering Herd. Jay Keys, your player of the game, seven receptions, uh, a touchdown receiving, and he did have a rushing touchdown as well, don't forget, very early in the ballgame. So a pair of touchdowns for the sophomore as Pitt comes away victorious. Ten sacks on the day for the Panthers' defense. They were absolutely impenetrable to uh, the Marshall offense and other other than that one turnover that gave Marshall good field position the pit defense was incredibly stout today great to see from all the youngsters and new starters leading the defense that they could put up such a great performance which will bode well when the Panthers see the uh, very impressive offense that they uh, impressive offenses they surely will in ACC play but as always guys thank you so much for watching here pit 24 Marshall 7 on the pit Panthers football network hail to pit we'll see you soon Take care. Bye-bye.